Okay, I wanted to talk to you about the residency by investment in St. Kitts again. A lot of people haven't seen this, and I wanted to kind of uh, update on some things dealing with this. Uh, also, if you want to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen. You'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to it. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And also go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and just ask for some help. Okay, now the way the residency by investment program works in St. Kitts. Now remember, this is not the citizenship by investment, but the residency by investment. Uh, you can literally get involved with this with uh, putting almost nothing in initially. Uh, over the 14-year period, you're looking at roughly somewhere around 12,500 U.S. And of course, the government over that 14-year period can actually, you know, change those figures. But we figured approximately you, you would end up spending around 12,500 over that time period now you can uh, you can work here if you're not a citizen uh, it depends on the type of field that you're in, looking into we'd have to actually check that out with you because there are some fields here that you cannot work in unless you're a citizen of st. Kitts uh, so you know you're gonna have to be aware of that uh, before you come here now the uh, uh, the way it works is you would either uh, you could either uh, get a, a house here without the citizenship by investment and qualify for what's called permanent residency without the right to work. You can still work, but you can't work here. You can live here in St. Kitts, but the way it works is you would uh, basically be getting uh, maybe something like a seashells company, uh, an offshore seashells company, not a local seashells company, but an offshore company. And then what you would do is you would live in St. Kitts. And St. Kitts is not going to regulate you from here. It's going to be regulated from seashells. And, of course, seashell doesn't pay tax, doesn't charge taxes on income that's uh, outside the country for their offshore companies. So you wouldn't have to pay taxes on that as long as your business is done, you know, uh, offshore. And you can, of course, live in St. Kitts to do that. Now... You can also set up a local company here in St. Kitts, um, and then the best way to do it is setting up an unincorporated business. You can get residency here, and then after 14 years, apply for the uh, you know the passport. Now you can also do the same thing if you uh, just get permanent residency without the right to work, and you can still qualify for citizenship with that option in 14 years also. Uh, now, when it says without the right to work, they're talking about where well, you're not doing, you're not going to apply for a local type job. Uh, you can, you can, you do, you can set up a business in St. Kitts with an option where you're buying just a property that's 300,000 U.S., but it's not an obligation that the government is going to give to you. It's different than citizenship. Citizenship, pretty much, if you got the, the, uh, you know, the uh, legal requirements, whether it's a doctor, lawyer, whatever you're doing, uh, the government's pretty much obligated to give you that license. But they're not obligated if you're coming here as a permanent residency just buying a property that we're talking about is like 300000 And one thing, too, is you can get that property anywhere that's uh, in St. Kitts. You don't have to buy it in the citizenship zones because you're not buying it for citizenship. You're buying it for permanent residency that would lead up to citizenship after 14 years, okay? So that's how that works. Now, you're looking at a, uh, a time period of around, uh, no matter which option you go on, whether it's permanent residency without the right to work or where you've set up a business here, won't make any difference. You can still apply for citizenship after 14 years of residency. Now, the government's not, they're not real strict about uh, when I say they're not real strict, there's nothing really in the law that says you have to be here continuously uh, during that period of time. But I'm telling you, if you're doing this and you're just getting, uh, technically, if, you're, if you've applied for the actual uh, license uh, and you've paid those fees and you can show proof of those fees, 
uh, that can actually get you the citizenship after the 14 years. But they will look at your passport to see how much time you spent inside that country too. So uh, if you've basically been outside the country that whole length of time, you know, and you think you're going to apply for the passport and get it, probably not going to happen. And you're just playing with Russian roulette and wasting a lot of time. Uh, if you're not going to want to be in St. Kitts, you need to get the citizenship by investment. That's the best option to go with if you're going to do that. So you have to decide, you know, which way you want to go. Uh, any point in time, you got that residency by investment without the right to work or residency by investment uh, with a worker's permit setting up your own business. Uh, you can decide any time during that period of time if you want to get your citizenship as quick as 45 days you can change that status and get the citizenship by investment and then you can go ahead and get your uh, uh, your citizenship very quickly that's the flexibility that you have here that you you won't have anywhere else that you can get that quick and this is the thing that I, I like about this is really unique and that you've got that uh, type of uh, uh, flexibility if you know if you decide you just don't want to wait 14 years and then apply for the passport and we did have a person on here that actually went through that program and she said it took 16 years the guy was really slow that was in office at that time it took 16 years to actually get the passport so you know just because they say it's 14 years before you can apply doesn't mean you're going to get the passport right after that 14 year period okay that's a long period of time but let me tell you the things i like about the residency by investment in st kitts number one there's no income tax no capital gains tax no estate tax no inheritance tax you only pay 0.20 percent of whatever you're buying on property that's a property tax and that doesn't even kick in until there's an exclusion that's uh, met of um, 29,600 US dollars then you pay 0.20 percent uh, on whatever's you know in excess of that on the property tax every year so this is a uh, something that's really unique here and another thing too about st. Kitts that I've mentioned on other videos is the thing that I, I do like so much is the cost of living here is not high like a lot of these other pure tax savings are uh, because a lot of pure tax savings make up uh, from not having an income tax they hit you a, a lot on high import duties and uh, it's not reflected so much here as it is in places like the Cayman Islands, British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, you know, places like this that, um, uh, that uh, you know, are going to be a lot higher uh, as far as cost of living, food, clothes, things like this. So if you're looking for a place that really crossed the board is low on taxes, when I say low on taxes, there's no income tax. Every place has in has some sort of tax to make up for the the lack of income taxes. They got import duties here. They have stamp duties, but things that you don't really, you just don't you don't you really recognize as trying to avoid because it's just not a it's not a big thing. Okay, it's not like the U.S. where they're taking forty percent, fifty percent of your money. And you're always just looking at receipts and everything you, you can come up with to try to lower that. It's just not that way here. And uh, uh, once you, you're in this system for a while, you go, damn, why didn't I you know, go with this a long time ago? Uh, but a lot of times it takes people a long time before they make decisions on, on things like this. But uh, if you're looking for a way in a country, so you can do this in Central America, but you got issues. And that is you're going to be in a country that doesn't have uh, uh that's not going to be uh if you speak only english you know you're going to have to deal with the lack of uh people to communicate with and get things done i'm going to tell you something when you deal with countries where the language is different you waste so much time trying to get things done this is the thing i don't like about going to countries where you don't know the language and it takes you a while to learn it there's a learning curve and that time is money so you're gonna to have to decide do you want to take all this time out to do that the other thing too is uh uh, you don't have to take that language test, okay? Like in the uh, the, uh, the uh, countries in Central America, all of those countries you're required that's, that are Spanish-speaking countries, except Nicaragua, they have now wavered it. But Nicaragua's got a lot of drawbacks. You can't get dual citizenship there, except for selected companies, the countries that are in 
uh, it, uh, that are in uh, Central America. So you would have to relinquish all your other passports if you go with Nicaragua. They do have that waiving requirement on their language requirement, but why would you want to do that when you can go in a country like St. Kitts where you can get dual citizenship? Uh, it's, you can get as many countries as you want to. Uh, uh, you know, and, and This is total freedom, folks. Whenever you got a country that wants you to relinquish your other passports, I'm going to tell you something. That that government's doing it for one reason. They want to control you. Okay, you don't want that. You want to be able to have dual citizenship. This is the problem you have with countries like the UAE, Saudi Arabia. These countries don't allow dual citizenship. You got strict governments there. Uh, you got dictator type governments, and they don't want people to have multiple passports because that way they can control you. You don't want that. You want to be able to have the freedom to have as many passports as you want. And you need to be able to have a residency program set up where you don't have all these, you know, uh, gotchas, you know, having to pass the language test, uh, you know, and uh, and having to, to deal with this. It's, uh, uh, it's a real pain in the butt. But you have, like I said, you have the flexibility if you don't want... Uh, to go through the 14-year period in St. Kitts to, to get the passport before, you know, 14 years before you can apply to get the passport. It's going to probably take you 16 years to get it. Um, but you can go with the fast track program. You always have that option to build up money and then just go through the fast track program if you want. And then you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, all this, uh, uh, you know, uh, worrying about, uh, you know, waiting that long period of time and will you get the passport after that length of time. Uh, and most countries don't don't have a fast track program a, a, a attached to their program with all the benefits that you got with St. Kitts. And a, another thing you're going to have to think about too, folks, is is military requirements. St. Kitts doesn't have military requirements. You know, we we had uh, you know we were just talking the other day about uh, South Korea has uh, strict military requirements from 18, I think it's 38 years old. Uh, that uh, you have to go in the military, and then your kids have to go in the military. You don't have that with St. Kitts. It's uh, you don't have St. Kitts just doesn't get it in wars. Most people don't even know where it's at, so <laughs> they just don't get in all these battles and stuff. You know, that a lot of these countries do, especially like the U.S. Anyway, folks, if you want to learn more on this, go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says "Apply with us." Fill out the questions. Hit that bottom bar that says "Send it to us." We deal with over 100 citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell next to that subscribe button you'll get new videos automatically as they come out and i would like to hear from you if you got a question or comment just put it below and i'll be glad to get back with you and i look forward to talking to you on the next video take care